welcome to Love and Money Secrets TV. I'm your host, Dame Lillian Walker, and today we are answering a Quora question that says, what should I do when I get anxious about going out? Anticipatory anxiety. how I handled uh, anticipatory anxiety, what I felt was just basic nerves from going up to do a speaking engagement. And this was when I was about 20, I wanna say I was 24, 25 years old. It was early on in my career. And I was going to go speak to a group of Century 21 brokers, brokers and agents, and in fact, the my landlord from where I leased an office for my mortgage company had asked me to come speak to his group of agents because he had seen me on Orange County News Channel. I had been called upon by an attorney to speak uh, on the news because at the time there were some foreclosures that were going on and so they were interviewing me on this news program. And the bottom line is that here I'm, you know, 25 years old, I was 24, 25, 26 years old, and the majority of the people that were going to be in this audience were 50, 60 years old, and with 20, 30, 40 years of experience, and here I only had several years of experience, four or five years of experience, and much younger, much less experienced. I knew that I was smart, I knew that I was very resourceful and capable, so much so that I already was running my own business at 25. However, I also looked like I was 12. So that caused a little bit of nervousness in me. And I remember walking up to the podium and I knew exactly what I was gonna say. It, oddly enough, in, in front of a camera on TV, when I went to the newsroom to do that particular broadcast, I didn't get nervous at all because I'm just speaking with with the with the news anchor and they're asking me questions and I knew more about the subject than they did and I knew that they were a business uh, journalist a business anchor and so I didn't have any nervousness or anything because it was just us plus the cameramen and whatever other staff was on the the uh, the floor room of the studio however now this is a different situation because now I've got like I said all this room of I think maybe 80 or 90 people that are 40, 50, 60 years old, everybody is at least 15 or, or 20 years my senior. And one of the things that I did in my head was once I was up at the podium and there was a podium where I could, I don't even remember if I had any paperwork with me or not because I had already made the decision at that point in time that it's always best to speak extemporaneously. So what that means is that I was speaking from the heart. I was just relying on the knowledge that I had and I knew that there wasn't anything that would be hurled at me that I wouldn't be able to answer. And so I was relying on my expertise. And so I, I don't do scripted speaking uh, engagements. So I already knew what, and I, what my talking points were. I knew what were the five key things that I wanted to convey to the audience. And then, you know, we were gonna have a Q&A. And so one of the things that I noticed was, as I walked up to the podium, I noticed that even though typically I'm one of those people where I sometimes, I oftentimes have a delayed response where I don't get nervous leading up to or during, sometimes I get nervous after. But in this particular case, I started getting nervous, I noticed, in anticipation of everyone sitting down and getting ready and I'm, you know, kind of just there testing the mic and making sure everything is fine and I noticed that my nerves started I started to get a little nervous possibly anxious but I really would describe it more as nervousness and I remember thinking in my head making the choice that I'm gonna switch the, the there's a switch in my head and I'm gonna turn it from nervousness to excitement so no, I'm not gonna allow this to be on the setting for nervousness. I'm gonna flip the switch to the other side and instead I'm gonna be excited. So 
I remember thinking in my head, I'm excited, I'm excited. I've got this, I'm excited, I'm excited. Yes, 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 I'm excited. And I noticed that from just doing that in my mind's eye, where I saw a switch go from the left to the right, from nervousness to excitement, I noticed how instead of the feeling and the energy of nervousness taking power away from me, now the energy of being excited was empowering me. It was making me joyous. It was making me excited. It was making me happy. It was giving me power. It was giving me strength. And I thought, yes, 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 I'm excited, I'm excited. And so my head in my mind was, I'm excited, I'm gonna deliver a powerful um, bit of information, I'm gonna be a powerful speaker, I'm gonna be engaging, I'm gonna provide value to my, to my audience, to the people who are listening, and I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, and I've got this, I've got this, and I'm excited. So I went ahead and I gave my talking points and I started talking about, from a lender's perspective, because I was a mortgage banker, so I gave from a lender's perspective everything that's going on and what they needed to know, what they didn't know as broker agents, both brokers, broker associates and agents, what they didn't know on their end as salespeople, these are certain things that you need to know about the bank, whether you are coming to deal with me or you're coming to deal with somebody else, this is how you deal with forgiveness of debt. This is how you mitigate losses. This is how you get certain signatures, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so I delivered my information. I had a lot of question and answers at the end. And at the end of my presentation, I'll, there was a, a fair group of people that came up to me and said, wow, in all my years, you know, I've heard so many lenders speak over the years and this is the most comprehensive, the most thorough. I actually have stuff that I can actually use today. But the bottom line was, that I had a lot of positive feedback from that. And of course, my reason for doing these public speaking engagements is to, to be like honey to bees, where I'm attracting um, the people and then I get to sort of sift and separate and pick out the people that I want to do business with. Because I don't want to do business with all of them, I just want to do business with a, with a certain caliber of clientele because I'm not looking to do business with the masses. I don't want that headache. I want to deal with the cream of the crop, the most professional and the most balanced individuals, not the ones that are going to be a problem in my pipeline, because I knew that that would steal my thunder. And so it came to pass, and I remember as I reflected about that and I went home and I thought, wow, um, it was great, the feedback, I had a lot of people that were, you know, wanted my information, my number and so forth, but I remember thinking about how it was just a little switch in my head. All I did was picture in my mind's eye a little white switch and it went from being nervous to being excited. And I flipped it in my head. I visualized it just ever so briefly for a few seconds and then I told myself, I didn't say I'm nervous in my head. I said, I'm excited, yes. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Yes, 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 I'm excited. I've got this, I'm a powerful speaker. And I just said, yes, 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 I'm excited. And that energy was transmuted in my body and now it morphed into something that was uplifting, encouraging, and empowering for myself. So, that's what I'm going to recommend to you that you do the same thing because you're asking me here, what should I do when I get anxious about going out? All you have to do is, rather than deny that you're anxious, just look in your mind's eye. You can do it with your eyes open or you can do it with your eyes closed. And in fact, that's so funny. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around in a moment and you're going to see that right behind the camera is an A and a B. I didn't set this up, but apparently the universe did. And so just look at the switch. You have the setting A and you have the setting B. And you're going to take in your mind's eye, you're just gonna go from anxious, I'm gonna turn it to excited. So now as you're getting ready, you flip the switch in your head and you're like, Anxious? No. You know, let's change the setting to excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be joyous. Yes, yes, yes. This is going to be rad. This is going to be fun. I'm going to have a great time. I'm going to be so excited. Enthusiastic. Enthusiasm is contagious. And you just let it go. And then notice the feeling and the change in your body. You will actually feel the physical manifestation of you being your own alchemist and switching your energy from a negative 
energy sucking energy to a uplifting powerful energy that feeds you that provides you that supports you that loves you that's actually the true you who you truly are this other energy that's nervous anxious the negative low vibe that's your ego that is your shadow side that is your wounded inner child talking to you that's not the true you the true you is this loving powerful loving self the part of you that loves who you are and thinks positive thinking thoughts and thinks loving thoughts towards yourself that's what it means to self-love and that's inadvertently that's what you're doing you are choosing and exercising self-love instead of giving over to your shadow side or to your ego or to the dark side of your wounded child that is always trying to come back because you haven't dealt with it it keeps on bubbling up keeps on bubbling up and you are emotionally constipated because you haven't dealt with that and you haven't learned how to manage that to clear your system so that's all I'm gonna say about that um, I actually have a video series that shows you how to deal with your shadow side with your wounded inner child it is a video series that you can go ahead and tap into in the link below it's we're in the process of putting the whole modules together and it's going to take you soup to nuts a to z when you're done with this process it's multiple it's multiple layers if you will but i can absolutely positively guarantee you one of the things that i do in that process i happen to be an intui cognizant um, spiritual guide and i also have the you know medical certifications i'm a certified you know clinical and medical neurosomatic practitioner nlp integration technologist yada 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 really who cares about all of that what people care about is results and the results are you can see on my youtube videos i have people who've had who've been shot in the head have had lost all of their childhood memories and in one short session with me we recouped her her, her memory there's a gal named pam you, you can see that i'll see if i can put that in the link below um, there's been all sorts of other things I don't want to this is not about accolades for me the reason why you're on this Quora site and on this YouTube video channel is to get answers to your questions and I want to empower you with giving you results that you can use that you can apply yourself and a lot of the stuff that I have is for free and for people who want to invest in themselves and kick it up a notch and really get results and in not just one aspect or one specific area of their lives, but they want to invest in, the, in their whole being so that they experience love and success in all areas of their life. Because make no mistakes, if you are broke and you have the love of your life, something's out of whack. If you don't, if you don't have the love of your life and you have a ton of money and you don't have that special person to share it with, you're relationally broke, uh, or, you're, or maybe you're in cure and process of finding that that person. So the point is to be physically, emotionally, financially, psychologically, um, energetically, all areas of your life. You want to be successful in the comprehensive way of, of the meaning of the word. You want to be complete and whole. You don't have to wait to die to shake off this meat suit to get there. So. There's all sorts of secrets I want to, every time somebody asks me a question, I just I want it. It's almost like I sometimes am like a fire hose where I just want to give it to you all so that you can um, learn and apply it not all, but I know that we have to meet you at the rate of consumption that you're comfortable with. And so just know that I have a heart's desire for you. You and I have cre created, we co-created this moment. You were asking a question, hoping that the universe would provide an answer and the universe used me to show up in your experience to answer this question for you. So I'm here with an open heart. My intention is to broadcast unconditional love. I know that I am quantum entangled with millions of people, quite literally. And I've had spectacular results, not because I'm spectacular. We are all born with these innate abilities. We all have these spiritual gifts and latent gifts that as we embrace the spiritual gifts that we came hardwired with and we start to cultivate those and embrace those and we don't reject them then other ones as we become more awakened and allow more light in then more is revealed and other things start to bubble up and we become aware of and 
it's not just for my benefit, it's for the greater good of all. And so I've been very fortunate. I just try to keep myself as open as possible so that I continue to be able to help people heal, whether it's emotional, physical trauma, it could be emotional trauma, physical trauma, spiritual trauma, psychological trauma, re relational trauma, it doesn't matter the type of trauma. So thank you my friends and gems for tuning in to Love and Money Secrets TV. We are here filming today from beautiful Beverly Hills, California and ciao for now from my heart to yours. Ciao for now. Bye.